Good morning. It is Wednesday, 9 o'clock in the morning here in California, IA, April 17th, 2024. See if I get an audio confirmation. Systems tell me I have microphone working. Got that. And then turn on some desktop audio, they call it. So that SpeakerBot can be hoid. Five minutes before showtime, I see this. My watch shows me this image right there. Full screen on my watch. Hello, what? Doug. Actually, thank you, John. Actually, not full screen. It was cropped just right around the bird. This is from my surveillance camera. So this bird just came to, to visit. And I'm going to back this video up and let you see the whole clip. I'm turning off the speaker bot repeating messages. And then let's see, click play here. Oh no, I drag it back, drag it back. Now he's, he comes from this corner over here. So that's where you can see him coming in, him or her. I don't know. There, there he is. Took off from the neighbor's yard. He just hangs out here, kind of eyeballs the camera a little bit. <laughs> so cool. I don't know if it's the same one that I showed you previously because this happened once uh, a couple weeks ago, I think. Well, that's all it's got. So, where do I want to go? Where do I want to go? I'm going to do some um, channel comments. Then I've got an email that came in this morning that we'll turn to. <clears throat> I'll start with <laughs> can grown two, two, two computers in one. That's when I was talking about. Carrie Holzman's big beast build here. Well, it's my big beast build now, but Carrie Holzman built it. <clears throat> he didn't build it for me. He didn't know I was going to buy it, but he built it. And I said, hey, I want that. So there's a thumbs up and a heart for Kinster. Diesel Braves. Diesel's Braves. Diesel's, there's an S, plural, Braves. I only get 400 down and 800 uh, to 800, 800, 880 to 100 <laughs> milliseconds latency. I cannot figure it out. And this is in response to the video, why is Xfinity Comcast speed so much slower than advertised? Uh, Diesel, we'd be happy to uh, try to help you, give you some pointers. We need to have some conversation with you. So you can come into any of the live streams that are Monday through uh, Friday, half an hour long. On Saturdays, you can come in on Zoom. We can have, actually have a verbal conversation with each other. Or you can respond by emails to the email address that's on the screen. Or you can just reply back to this comment. I will send a reply comment with a, a um, link to this location in the video. But there's a whole bunch of questions to try to narrow down. There's many things that could be causing that. And uh, we'd, be, we'd be happy to interact with you and try to find a solution for that. That's what we like to do around here, is find solutions to actual problems on people's computers. And then here is Julen Vialta. Vialta. I'll take my stab at pronouncing it. Uh, Julen, I am, I'm not sure it could be male or female. Uh, not that it matters, I just, I'm about to say him or her. Them, should I say? Ugh. Solved how to upgrade Windows 10 Home to Windows 10 Pro. That was in response to that video, so that worked for you. And I want to let you know that where you are here six days a week to try to help people with issues on their computers. Love to have you come either hang out with us or when you have a problem, just come in and, and put it into the chat room or put it as a comment on any of my videos or send your uh, inquiry to this email address. And you can pause it there to copy the email address if you need to do that. So I will send Julin, 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 a uh, reply with a link to this point in the video. So that takes care of all of that. They will get thumbs up and hearts after I do those replies. So now I'm going to come to an email that came in this morning from Martin Hogg. And I have the email position such that it doesn't expose his email address. I think he's told me it's okay to show that anyway, but just for consistency sake and practice. He says, looking for some thoughts on this problem. An elderly cus a customer with a PC running Windows 10 is unable to access Windows because she forgot her PIN and her Windows password. 
We ch now, before you start put, typing things in chat, get the whole email uh, uh, because they, they made some progress. We tried the forgotten password procedure with Microsoft saying they sent a code to her email address, but unfortunately no code was received either by email or as a text message to her mobile phone. This sentence implies to me that she was actually logging in with a Microsoft account. That Now, I know some of you are going to say, don't do that, don't do that, don't do that. Well, it, this is what we're dealing with. This is, the, this is the, the meal we've been given. So let's deal with this as it is. That implies that. So Martin, if you're in chat, I'd like to get a confirmation. Does this, or am I correct in thinking that she was logging in to the computer with a Microsoft account? And uh, it, the email wasn't received. Her email works perfectly, as does her phone. This implies to me that she does not have her email through uh, a Microsoft. Uh, um, her Microsoft credentials are not the same as her email credentials. We sent and received test messages. Okay. Microsoft then prompted her to enter full details, including some previous passwords she had used, but she couldn't remember any. Help! Now, this one made me wonder, hey, I, I, Martin, were you actually involved in this, or was she telling this to you? And is it possible that this was actually a phishing attempt and she was actually interacting with a scammer and putting in her, her full details to give the scammer just more personal information? So um, I got a little concerned about that. I don't know for a fact that Microsoft will ask for prior passwords. I know some some sites do that, and that could be with Microsoft. I just don't know that specifically about Microsoft. I ended up changing boot order in BIOS and using a utility USB to unlock the administrator account. Good. Thus enabling her to access all of her files and emails and not needing a PIN or password, so she is happy. This implies to me that you did not, the computer did not have encryption set because you wouldn't be able to get to those files if encryption was turned on. So that's happy days. But I just wonder what else we could have done as Microsoft reset procedures are so impossible. On booting, she now has two profiles on her desktop, her own locked one and the unlocked admin one. And Martin in chat says, yes, it was a Microsoft account. I was on site, not scammed. Great. Now, if it's if the computer's not logging in with the Microsoft account, I'll just show you this. You could go to um, now. He's on Windows 10, but still, computer management is available for Windows 10. So you could go into computer management. Once you're signed in with the admin account, go to local users, find that user, right click on that user, and set the password. But I don't know that that'll work if the computer was signing in with a Microsoft account. You might check on it. There is a possible configuration that I have on my computers where I first created a local account and then I, I changed it to sign on with a Microsoft account. So the local account does exist. So it could be worth trying that on the slim chance that there is a local account there. Now then the next thing that I would suggest doing is I'm assuming all of this password reset was attempted on her computer. I would suggest on another computer, even your computer, go into a incognito window. You don't have to do it in an incognito window. The only reason I'm suggesting this is to avoid confusing it with your own Microsoft account and go to office.com or any other Microsoft site and try to sign on with her credentials and then use the uh, forgot password procedure. See if you can accomplish that from a different computer. I don't know that that's a valid way to go when you're stuck in the situation that you're in. That's just an idea. Now, where do I want to go next? And let me know if you've already done that. So I've got that. I've got, oh, uh, I know another thing I'll talk about while I'm waiting for chat messages to come up in response is um, <laughs> I watched Carrie Holzman's show yesterday. Now, I very, very much like DVR mode. And for whatever reason, he didn't have it on yesterday. And 
according to the chat room, he's usually been having it on. And I'm, I understand that sometimes it's just annoying. And, and somebody suggested in chat he just wasn't in the mood to deal with people asking questions from long ago in the video. I suspect that's why he sometimes turns DVR mode off. But I like DVR mode so much because I had, I, and I watched the show. Well, I wasn't watching, watching. I had it playing while I was doing other things. He was dealing with the, um, oh, that um, Intel motherboards sending too much wattage to CPUs. And he demonstrated on several different uh, motherboards. Um, and I wasn't interacting in the chat room because I wasn't watching the chat room. I was doing other things. So I'd hear him say something. I want to go back and see that over again. Oh, darn it. But anyway, I, I very much enjoyed the, the show. But I checked in to the... I, I, I brought it up on screen before the show played, and he had a trailer. I love that trailer. What he did is he got, a, he found a site, or I don't know, maybe Mara did it. I don't know, but a site that does custom music, and I liked the music. He did his own words. I'm going to do that. I'm going to, I just like that so much, I'm going to do it. So how do I find out what it, what it was? Well, later in the, actually, not later in the day, this morning, I went back into my watch history, when a trailer plays before somebody's show, you can go back in your own watch history and replay it and actually gain access to that unlisted video. Trailers don't have to be unlisted, but commonly they are. Um, I do them as well. It's all uh, up to the content creator. Um, and I think it's a good idea to do them as unlisted because then the, the YouTube algorithm doesn't get confused about what is too. on your uh, doesn't get confused about what is on your channel. Nick says he made a song with that site too. Cool. So I don't know how soon that I'm going to come up with that, but but thank you, Carrie and or Mara, whoever whoever <laughs> did that. It was well well done. Loved it, and uh, particularly enjoyed the show. I don't always get to have him playing in the in the background. Oh, and and I brought this computer back up on the desk just to point out he was commenting about how. The BIOS settings, there's so much confusing stuff and, and different from one manufacturer to another, one BIOS version to another, and, and so on. And I certainly feel that frustration too. I'm sure others do. But a reason I brought this back up, this is an old Dell computer, right? Dell, yeah. And But it's a Dell Enterprise computer. It has a massive amount of stuff in its text-based BIOS. Yeah, I, I would... I would I would challenge, I would put it up against the uh, current current motherboards that, 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 that carry works. However, with it, however, if, uh, English, please. However, it's different complexity because all this complexity is related to security issues for the enterprise environment, not performance issues. Um, but maybe I'll bring that up on screen again another time. Alice got to laugh at the mini Dugs. Uh, let's see. What I, let's go get. Is there anything else I wanted to bring up before? Oh, um, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, where is it? Nick Poverman. Uh, and Nick was the one who just said he made a made a song with that. Nick Poverman has a link in the chat room, and I'm going to assume it's okay to to. Uh, show a piece of this. I'm not going to play the clip through, but just Nick and his wife. This video that he put a link in is Nick and his wife on a on a road trip. I'll watch it through better uh, later. I just kind of scrubbed through it. Hope you don't mind me showing that. So thank you for giving that to us, Nick. And then let's go. Whoops, hitting the wrong buttons here. Buttons, buttons, buttons up the wazoo. All right, Ken. Buttons up the wazoo. He'll probably clip that out and use it somewhere to slam me. So I gave it to him full screen. Now, just because I volunteered that one, he probably won't use it. What do I know? Okay, let's go interact with the chat room. Ken, Ken Stout, am I really once? Jeff says, yes. I'm not going to elaborate where that came from. John Williams, I want a new job, not I'm happily retired. That was in response to the trader this morning. 
Uh, I want a new drug from Ham. Um, oh, okay. I just I just had his name too, the singer. Somebody will put it into chat. Alice, hello, Nick. Happy Wednesday, Brick Lakes. Hello, Martin Hogg from Ayer in UK. Ayer, so that's an actual location, I guess. I don't really know that. Irie in Ayer, is he actually just, what is Ayer in UK? Huey Lewis. Yeah, Huey Lewis, thank you. Ayer is a town situated in the southwest coast of Scotland. Scotland. That's a terrible accent. And there's Nick's link. Um, Alice, thanks to Nick. Thank you, Nick. It's a little long, but I took a lot of pictures. I think it's all pictures from one picture to another. I didn't, as I was scrubbing through, I didn't notice any video parts, but great. Thank you. Mike Wojcik, hello. I did it really quick last night. Uploaded just a few minutes ago. Mike's going to watch it. Rick Lakes watched it already. I have yet to take vacation this year like last year. Probably won't get around to it. There's a, I think there's an online store where you can buy round to it. But if you, if you buy a round to it, then you can never again say that you don't, you didn't get around to it because you bought one. You're pretty darn good with this. Let's see, last year, you're pretty darn good with this. What's this? You're pretty darn good with this. I guess just taking vacation. Hello, Ran Israel. Oystein, hello. Good to see you all. Speaker bot speaking up. Speaking out. Hello, Josh Kinder. Oystein, hello. Good to see you. Alice, Chris Garrett, hello. That's why I do, Chris, so that's why I do not log in with an account or use PIN. I use a password only on my laptop. If you're going to sign in with a Microsoft account, and I do, because there are advantages to doing that that I like. Not everybody likes those advantages. But if you're going to do that, make sure that you have your account recovery technique set up well with Microsoft so that you can recover it. Make sure you have two-factor authentication to prevent the bad guys from signing in. Make sure you have a unique, complex password. So if you're going to use it, use it intelligently. And so when Chris is saying that is why, he's saying that is why is because this person lost access to their account. Well, no, they didn't lose access to that logging into the computer because they're using a Microsoft account. They did, they lost access to it because they didn't have their Microsoft account properly configured so that they could protect it from being taken over. And and what uh, what we were Martin told us was that she forgot her password and forgot her PIN. Well, you can't do you can't do that. <laughs> it, it, although if you do, then have your recovery procedures. Um, set up right. So it's not to be done sloppily. Do it right if you're going to use it. If you're not going to take the time to do it right, then do local accounts. Please, please, please. I'm not giving them my phone number. Um, yes, Microsoft account. I was on site, not scammed. Great. Savi Menor, I think I said it. That is your first time. Hello, Zavi Manor. Greg M., I watched it after the fact at 2.5. Yeah, I, I really was tempted to just stop watching and then go back and watch it later. But as it turned out, I was able to do other things while Carrie's show was running. And it just, I, I, every, there were a couple times that I, I went to go pause it. And, or now pause doesn't really, it'll pause, it'll stop playing. But then when you resume, it just goes right to live. So it's not the normal kind of pause, but um, yeah, there are a few times that I, that I went to stop watching so I could focus more on the other things. And then I just I said, oh, I just want to see this next thing. I just want to see this next piece. I just want to see this next piece. And I actually watched it all the way through. Or I had it play all the way through. Josh, I have a report. Apply to what you was talking about, but can't do it now. Be on the lookout for an email from me about this dog. Okay, I will do that. Nick made a song. Alice laughing at the mini dugs. I haven't done any change. I just really need to update that and do something different. 
Martin found an 800 number for Microsoft support in UK and have given it to her. Boy, I would I would suggest actually assisting her with that. Um, when you described her as an elderly uh, person who has uh, forgotten her password and 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 um, pin, and I'm going to suspect when she's depending upon who she's talking to with Microsoft support, she might have a difficult time answering the questions correctly and accurately, um, and understanding the tech talk that might come from that person. If you're able to, man, I'd I would I would I would be very reluctant to let a client of mine go through that on their own. Nick, I wanted you to see it. Oh, the the song or the video? I don't know what you're which one you're responding to there. Thank you, John. Can oh you bet money on that? Oh, he's gonna use that. He's gonna use that clip. I throw him bone, uh, throw him a bone once in a while. What's the answer to the email request for help? Um, what's the answer to the email request for help? Are you referring to Martin's request? I I already talked through that. Are you asking me to repeat that? You'll have to go. You should go back and DVR. Uh, yeah, we we don't actually have an answer. Yeah, going through Microsoft is the way to do that. If the computers, you, you can try that thing that I showed in computer management to see if you can reset the password there. I'm, my guess is you won't be able to, but that'd be worth trying. Other than that, it's it's if you don't have the Microsoft recovery procedures set up properly, then yeah, it's con contact direct with Microsoft. Um, it protections are in place to protect against people who don't have the right recovery information. Now, trying that recovery where they send an email from a different computer, I think is a very valid thing to do. I have had occasions where in trying to do a recovery, the first, second, or even third attempt to send the email has not worked. Be sure you're checking junk mail and spam for that, uh, when you're asking them to send an email, look at the, they'll typically show you the trailing characters of the email address and make sure it's not some old email address. If it is, do you have access to that? Can you get access to that old email address? Let's see, Nick says both. Nick says both. Now I got to figure out both what? Uh, oh, Nick says both. Okay, to see both the, um, well, I don't know. Have you given me a link to the song that you created? Give me a link to that. I'd like to see that. Oh, you did. <laughs> Duh. Duh. G Look at the next one. Made this song with Song Son You. Now, I'm not going to play it just in case. I don't know what they're what they're doing with potential copyright. I suspect there will not be any copyright issues. <laughs> <laughs> Windows 11 sucks. Okay. I got the idea where that song's going. Uh, maybe, maybe, can I have permission to use that as a trailer? Sunu. Suno. Suno is the name of it. Yeah, let's see. I did the, I think I pulled up. Don't I have it here? Yeah, that's their website for creating... <laughs> songs i really did like the music and i liked the, the way the song came out it's just it was really really impressive and fun of it just wondering if the admin account is up and running well yeah you told us it is what would happen if the microsoft account is removed and re-added creating a new pin in the process well that's going to wipe out the entire profile folder so no um yeah no you would not want to do that now would there is there a way in computer management to fuss with the microsoft account i really doubt it because that would be that would violate the protections now 
this account I don't know which of those two is right. I'm going to take off screen for a minute and see if I can answer that. Yeah. Um, let's look at this. Do, 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 do. I have a stuck key. Let's check. Okay, yeah. So here I want to do Windows key. Um, Chris has a stuck key. Um, is that is that on your key ring in your pocket? Um, maybe someone else can stick their hand in your pocket and pull the key. <laughs> or just, I have a lock in my house where the key sticks in the lock. Stuck keyboard key. I just do a Liberace move and get bang on all the keys or bang on the back. Put it over your shoulder and pat it like a baby. I don't know, is it physically stuck or is it just repeating on your screen? Unplug the keyboard, plug it back in. All right, so here. WD-40. WD-40, there you go. No, no, don't do that. However, you could use. Well, I'm not sure about on the keyboard, but I do, I do use WD-40. Contact cleaner, electrical contact cleaner. It is WD-40, but it's a face palm after Doug's bad joke. <laughs> it's not the WD-40 that you would have in your garage for squirting on bolts and stuff like that. But anyway, what I'm getting back to here, here you can see that this uh, Doug Betts account is signing in with a Microsoft account. And this is the clue here. If it shows up an email address, I wish it would give a little more obvious if there is a more obvious place along here somewhere, I don't see it. But yeah, this one signs in with the Microsoft account. So is there anything I can do in disk or computer management to mess with the Microsoft account? I really doubt it. I'm not seeing anything there. So if you do... Um, Let's go back and show that because I didn't have that on screen. Windows key, sign in options. And this is the same thing on Windows 10 or Windows 11. That'll take you to sign on, sign in options screen. Now, Windows 10, this screen show, looks different. And I think it's over on the right-hand side where you'll see the email address if you are signed in with a Microsoft account. But this account is actually a... Um, I created as a local account and then signed in the Microsoft account. Now, the way you can see on a computer was the account, was the profile created as a local profile or a Microsoft um, account. And here you can see the profile Doug Betts. That's a local profile. If it was created with a Microsoft account, it would be a concatenation, a shortened version of the email address. <clears throat> All right, now go back to where? We're almost uh, ready to shut down. Oh, I didn't check to see if there's any uh, shows for me to redirect to. Let's go look over here for Carrie Holzman. See if you've got a show scheduled. Nope. Look for Ken the Stout. He's a stout individual, very set in his way. Stout is his middle name. Some people don't realize that, but he identifies himself on his show every night. He, he live streams every night, except for the next, what, couple of weeks while he's on vacation. He says, so, I'm... I am having trouble playing the music. Well, that's your problem. Uh, every night he says, I'm Ken Stout Live. So Stout is his middle name. Are you calling Ken Fat Doug? <laughs> well, I think you just did. Uh, Nick Po, uh, both. Uh, I saw that already. Good question. Yes, whatever you want to do with it. So I can use it as a trailer if I choose to. Sorry, typing too fast, trying to keep up. Keep up with the 
um, uh, cultural references. You guys know how bad I'm at keeping up with the... Uh, he owned a dry cleaner. He moved uptown into a high-rise building. Jefferson's. Keeping, is that what they call that show? Keeping up with the Jeffersons? I don't know. Long time ago. The profile folder can be easily backed up using the admin account. Oh, <clears throat> yeah, since you have access to the profile folder, that's a good idea. You could also use tabs auto backup or any other profile copying thing so that way you could um yeah like with I that to be politically correct ken stoutlib is more of the term weight conscience tipped <laughs> weight conscious he's always talking he's often talking about his weight he's trying to get down to <laughs> 230 pounds now you got to understand the man is six foot four so, just saying. And he's coming to town. He's got this big beard, big white beard, Santa Claus beard, right? He's a big guy like Santa Claus, six foot four, 230 pounds. And he's coming to town, to my house. He's checking his list to see if I've been naughty or nice. And in today's show, have I? Have I? Well, I don't know. Is he gonna is he gonna is he gonna come with a bag, a sack over his shoulder? Yes, Alice, he is coming to town. He is coming here. I don't know if it is to visit me or to discipline me. I don't know. The profile folder can be easily backed up using the admin account. Yeah, we just talked about that. I just talked about that. Got some laughs there. Use WD-40, face palm. Hello, Nova. I think that's the first time I saw Nova in chat today. Hello, nice to see you. The key is broke off. It's, he said it's stuck, but it's broke off. Man, with key, keyboard keys come off, it is possible to put them on, but man, it's difficult. And I know Chris has talked about his fingers aren't real good for fine, tiny work. I have I have tried to get keys on back on and really it's pretty much always easier to just buy a new keyboard. Did you want him to discipline you? <laughs> no, Nova. No, I don't think I want him to discipline me. That is a scary thought. I'm gonna have dreams tonight of that. Thank you very much. Not. Jeez. Quick question: Why I never see you play Fortnite anymore? I've answered that a, a, a couple times. I'm not going to ask you to go back and find it, but I've take, I'm taking an extended break from Fortnite because I need to change some things about my days. I just was losing a lot of product productivity in my days. And uh, some people are aware that Dennis and I kind of got annoyed with each other last time that we played. We're okay. We made up. We did email exchanges, but I had already been feeling that I need to get, I need to recover that time and it has been working really well for me lately to get started with 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 business stuff in the morning so yeah i might i don't know yet it's not decided whether i'm going to come back next season so far i'm getting i'm so much getting so much more done in my days than doing and when i do two sh live shows in the morning it just kind of blows the whole morning to broken key, the key, key, I got to get another keyboard. Yeah, just get another keyboard. Already did those. Uh, Ken's on a, yeah, his trip starts on Friday back in May. Starts on a Friday back in May. Okay, so it's not going to start this Friday. It's got started in a Friday back in May. What was that? 11 months ago? His, his, his trip started. He drives slow. He said he's going to take his time. Keeping up with you, Doug. Moving on up. That's right. That was the Jeffersons. Not really. I'm just fat. <laughs> uh, I didn't say that. It wasn't me. Maybe I disciplined Ken. I, let's see. Weight conscious. Tipped. <laughs> I think to be politically correct, Ken Stout Live is more of the term weight conscious. Uh, tipped. 
tip the scales. Uh, he's woke. He's weight woke. <laughs> he is Groot. Yeah, he's got the build for Groot, right? He's always claiming to be Groot. Photos and videos upon return. He's going to be, he's got a whole bunch of premieres lined up to show while he's gone. So he's still going to have content coming out, but they're not new videos. But the best of. Think of it as the best of. Lawn Dog, have a comment on Macrium Reflect. I guess I'm going overtime. Macrium Reflect, damn it, this is the third time this program has freaked out and consumed all the resources. Actually, Macrium Reflect, um, when I, I had an occasion actually this morning when I turned Big Beast Build on up, Big, Big Beast Build on computer it on, and the gum. You know what I was trying to say. It was not, it was very unresponsive. I think, oh no, what's going on? Well, Mac and Reflect will uh, take up all the resources, except there's an option in there somewhere. And I think it's by default, it takes it uses resources i'm not sure which way it is which way is default but I'm, I'm going in here to see if i can find that where you can tell it to um you know kind of run in the background or not take up so much not take up so much um resources i don't know if i'm going to find this oh here priority setting that's it advanced settings the highest setting will create the quickest backups but will slow down other applications that are running the lowest setting will allow other applications to run faster, but will create the slowest backup. So you can turn this down to, to lowest if it's consuming too much resources. So there, there is a, that, that's all we want to do here is answer people's questions <laughs> in the chat room, by email, or on comments on videos. Uh, skipping one I did. In my computer yesterday, I started a complete system backup. My driver's almost completely full. My drivers, probably his drives are almost completely full. Yeah, you need to, you can also tell it to, um, let's see, and it defaults to, well, let's see, on the backup jobs themselves, you can tell it to delete the previous backups if you're below a certain amount of disk space. Now let's get, uh, go to definition file, C drive. How quickly can I get to that? You're asking questions at the end of the show. What's the matter for you? I'm going to go to next, and I think it's in here. Yeah, purge the oldest backup set if less than 400 gigabytes on the target volume. So you can keep turning this number up to help with that. You can go to existing backups and delete backups from in here. It's much better to delete them from within Macroom Reflect rather than deleting them from the storage location that themselves. Uh, you can just right click and choose delete file. And then was there something in here about re oh, retention rules? You can change your number of backups to keep. Here's purge oldest backup set if less than five gigabytes. Well, that's different than the specific backup, the scheduled backup I just showed you. This would be the defaults. <clears throat> By default, it purges the oldest backup if less than five gigabytes. That's pretty low. That's pretty low. Mean, rotten, evil. Is that what I meant when I said it's low? I carried all in one place, though, is the problem. The list has a lot of red on it. I carry it all in one place. I think he's talking about his weight. The list has a lot. Oh, the the good, have you been good or bad list? <laughs> he comes in. I might have a vid, I might have a camera running to capture his arrival. I don't know. You saw my security, my security cameras will capture him outside. My computer at the moment is barely operable. Now, then you can also pause a, a backup in progress. You can come down and find it in the in the system tray and right click on it and pause the backup and then resume it later. What's your setup? 
Oh, that's a question to Long Dog. You could play in the evenings just to unwind. Mm, no. No, I haven't even launched Fortnite. Um since I decided and since I decided to step away from it. Really? And and I contemplated what I want to. And and actually I enjoy Fortnite. I'm not a I'm not tempted towards any other game except for my uh Beat Saber. That's where that is. I was playing Beat Saber for those for the mini dugs. Although I haven't played Beat Saber in a long time either. But somehow, I don't know, Fortnite just doesn't appeal to me without doing live streaming with Dennis. It not as much. So yeah, I haven't. I know I could. I know I'm allowed to. I'm an adult. I could do that if I want to. I knew that. <laughs> Nova drove from Georgia to Indiana in six hours. What does that make me? Uh, well, I don't know how long it should take, but I tell you what, I'm a little bit worried about Ken. I am worried. I, I know he says that he's gonna t they're going to take their time on their trip, but I think he said he's driving like eight hours a day. I think, here's my prediction. He's going to find that that's far more difficult to do at his age than what he's thinking. I'm gonna be interested to see if he says, I think he said eight hours, Alice, but not, I don't think straight. I know they're gonna have an ice chest with them, probably gonna be eating on the road, but sitting in that car seat. Now it's not a child's car seat, I understand that. But <laughs> he's Well, I don't know, he's so big, it's kind of like a car seat. It, child's car seat isn't it are you it? saying i'm old yeah i'm saying you're old you're older than you used to be you cannot deny that you are older than you have ever been in your life you have never been older than you are now but i also think you have not been routinely doing long drives i know you drive your wife to work but that's not nearly as long i'm concerned i, I i'm 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 I wouldn't even be surprised if he changes his itinerary somehow. I don't know. I'm worried about you, Ken. <clears throat> Nova, what does that make you? I drove. Uh, how long, how young were you then? I have a low cost. Well, lately, we have not been doing the longer drives. We have not been doing the longer drives. Yeah, yeah. How long has it been since you've driven? Eight hours in a day, and you're going to do that multiple days. I can't stout live. Please do not eat on the road. Eat in the car or go inside. Hmm. I don't know, Chris. I'm eating on the road. I know you're not. It's illegal to be distracted when you're driving. If you're, could you do it? Can you do it safely? I don't know. I I think that they'll, they'll probably they'll be taking breaks though. They'll be taking lots of breaks. But not buy. I don't think they're buying food a lot. Stop at a rest stop and eat. Danielle, I have a low cost LTC nimble back mechanic. Now look at this, nine thirty-five. Danielle, please ask earlier in the show. I have a low cost LTC nimble back mechanical no keyboard. Old, just more experienced. Um, good, good one, Martin mechanical keyboard where you are supposed to be able to easily saw swap switches and or keycaps i have not tried it keycap sets i see don't have the special keycaps oh you're not actually asking a question i thought you were asking never mind never mind my chastisement <laughs> about asking earlier she's just talking about her uh, mechanical key keyboard some keyboards are easier to to swap them and they you can actually buy other keys for specific reasons key cap sets i see don't have the special k caps really you have a special k cap so it's a key that you can press on your keyboard when you want to eat special k cereal or is it shaped like one of the what, what special k it's like a cornflakes isn't it is it shaped like that special k <laughs> caps i know that's not what you're talking special k caps caps lock key special k i don't know what that is in terms of a keyboard 
Groot, I am. English, please. Well, Grootish. Groot, Grootish, please. That's improper grammar in Grootonian. I can recommend a good IT expert from Martin to Lundog. Uh, Doug, how long are you going to drag this out? Okay, I'll just go Special catch K the oranges. Is my new channel name. I'll catch the oranges. Uh, Special K. Oh, Ken Stout, that's what the K is. I will send an email on the security camera. I will send an email on the security camera. I don't understand that. We went to Niagara Falls last year. I, yeah, that was a drive. If we were going on a long drive, we stopped to take one hour break for long lunch, like when I drive from Nashville to from Madison, Wisconsin. I am currently on a long break. Last time I did a long drive, <clears throat> I don't remember what the last long drive I, was, I took. I went to North Fresno a few days ago. When I was young, I couldn't imagine ever being tired of driving. I loved it so much. Big Beast Drive. Big Beast Drive had Big Beast has a few drives in it. Can I count that? I see that, Ken. All right, get out of here, Doug. Go, go, get out of here. Leave. Goodbye. Sign off. Click that button. Do that do that quick do that quick in thing that you like to do so much. Just get it 